In the waning days of 2017, U.S. Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley gave perhaps one of the most memorial and impassioned speeches concerning Israel's right, and our resolve, in declaring Jerusalem the recognized capital of the Jewish state. The ambassador had forewarned the international body gathered within the UN General Assembly in advance any nation that stood against the United States in the symbolic vote, would be remembered and the US will be taking names. Moreover, the penalty for outwardly disrespecting America would not be simply a symbolic gesture. When the dust had settled 64 countries had stood with America and Israel, condemning the politically motivated resolution. In appreciation for the countries that stood with the U.S. and its decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, Haley had promised to host a party in their honor and on Wednesday night the ambassador made good on her promise hosting a gala event dubbed Friends of the U.S. in which all 64 countries' representatives were invited. Stating on Twitter, it's easy for friends to be with you in the good times, but it's the friends who are with you during the challenging times that will never be forgotten. Thank you to the 64. Israeli ambassador to the UN Danny Danon told CNN he believes that the US ambassador is doing an amazing job in representing America at the UN, showing true leadership. First, it was a courageous decision by President Trump and Ambassador Haley, and we thank the United States for this courageous decision, and tonight the US is continuing to show leadership in the Middle East, real leadership in the UN. There's a lot of hypocrisy in the U.N., he said. Moreover, the stark reality that this is a far different administration than the previous one is apparently finally settling in. President Trump isn't shy announcing to those in the UN General Assembly reminding them who's actually responsible for keeping the lights on and has already announced pulling funds away from this international cesspool of cronyism and corruption. Moreover, those nations that voted against our interests will finally feel the squeeze of having their foreign aid decreased.